how easy is it to tell the difference between these two bird species, a house wren and a blue jay? Well, it's not all that hard, right? The house wren is small and it's brownish and the blue jay is a little bigger and it's blue. Well, what if I asked you to find this particular blue jay in this group of blue jays? Well, now this is not so easy. It can be really hard to tell birds of the same species apart. But this is actually something that scientists who study birds have to do a lot. They need to be able to tell individual birds apart. Now, typically to identify individual birds, the birds are fitted with little numbered metal bands and sometimes colored bands on their legs so that scientists can tell the birds apart by looking at them. But relying on humans to identify the birds this way can be challenging and time consuming, especially because scientists usually have to identify a lot of birds. And this is because answering scientific questions about birds, like how long they live or how they behave, well, it requires a lot of data. But now scientists may be able to get some help from artificial intelligence. Now, artificial intelligence is the technology that allows computers to do things that typically only living things like people can do, like making decisions or using language or having the ability to see and perceive the world. And this might bring to mind things like advanced robotics or self-driving cars and things like facial recognition software. But it's also useful for applications in biological research and conservation. And now an international team of scientists has found a way to use the same type of artificial intelligence that's used to recognize faces to recognize individual birds. Now, it's a type of artificial intelligence called a neural network. And the neural networks I'm referring to are computer programs, but they're actually based on how our brains take in and process information. And they're particularly good at learning to recognize images of things. For example, the two birds in this photo are the same species and they look really similar to us, but a neural network can pick up on subtle differences in the birds that we can't easily see. And with this new study, scientists created a neural network that can identify individual birds by looking at images like this of their backs. And here's how they did it. They chose two species of birds to study in the wild, a bird called a great tit and another one called a sociable weaver. And they also chose one species to study in a laboratory, a zebra finch. Now, in order to get the neural network to recognize individuals of these species, they had to train the program by showing it lots and lots of different pictures of these birds. Now, to get all these pictures of the wild birds, they briefly captured the birds and they fitted them with a small microchip called a pit tag. And then they attached an antenna that detects the pit tag to a bird feeder. So kind of like how a toll booth detects an easy pass tag in a car, when the bird gets close to the antenna, it detects the bird's pit tag, and then it sends information to a computer that tells a camera, also attached to the bird feeder, to take pictures. So every time the bird lands on the feeder, the camera snaps a bunch of pictures. So they did this over and over and over again until they had lots and lots of pictures of each of the tagged birds. And they also used automated cameras to take lots of pictures of the zebra finches that they were studying in a laboratory. Then the scientists used all the pictures that they took of these birds and they used it to train the neural network. So by showing the neural network lots and lots of these pictures, it basically learns by trial and error to recognize each of these individual birds. And after a while, it got pretty good at this. Actually, when they tested out the neural network, it was about 90% accurate for all three of the bird species, which is really good because remember, it's not trying to tell the difference between these three species of birds. It's trying to tell the difference between individuals of the same species, which is a lot harder. So this is a really exciting start, but these scientists are still trying to improve this computer program and there are a whole bunch of challenges that they need to overcome. And one of these challenges is just the changing of the seasons. Because some birds, like this black pole warbler, well, they change their appearance when they molt their feathers during the year. So this would make it really hard for a computer to be able to identify them at different times of year. 
Now, artificial intelligence programs like this, they won't replace important types of identification like banding birds, but still scientists are pretty excited about the idea of automated bird identification because it could be an exciting tool for certain types of researchers who are trying to learn more about the lives of birds. And the more we know about birds, the more we can do to protect them in the future. <laughs>